This video shows you how you can use the limit point, which is also referred to by some as the vanishing point, to safely negotiate a bend. So what is the limit point? As you approach a bend, the limit point is the furthest distance that you can see across the road surface, where both sides of the road appear to meet on the far side of the bend. This is also your maximum stopping distance, and you must be able to stop in that distance on your own side of the road. As you approach a bend, you should reduce speed to be able to stop safely within the distance to the limit point and select the most appropriate gear for that speed. This will help maintain stability through the bend. Now let's overlay the limit point line onto the clip and run it at normal speed. As you get closer to the bend, the limit point will start to move. You can then match your speed to the speed at which the limit point is moving away from you maintaining a safe stopping distance at all times. If the limit point looks like it's running away from you and then slows down, stops moving, or in this case comes back towards you slightly, it's indicating that the bend could be tightening. A further reduction in speed may be necessary. Watch how the limit point moves on this left hand bend in slow motion. Now watch the clip again at normal speed and see how the safe stopping distance between the bike and the limit point is maintained throughout the bend. You should be at the correct speed and in the correct gear by the time you reach the bend. You can now negotiate the bend matching your speed to the movement of the limit point with enough acceleration to maintain that speed. The whole thing is self-regulating because as the limit point sprints away and the bend opens out, you can increase your speed to follow it. If the limit point slows down, you do likewise as the bend is tightening. Now let's look at another example on a much tighter bend on a narrower road. From some distance back it's clear that this is likely to be a tight bend as the limit point has not moved. The rider must reduce speed and be able to stop in the distance they can see to be clear. They must also select the most appropriate gear for that speed to maintain stability through the bend. Applying the safe stopping distance rule will guarantee a safe entry speed. Travelling in the opposite direction, there is a clue to the severity of the bend from the tree line, but it's clear from the lack of movement of the limit point that the bend is tight. The rider must adjust their speed and select the most appropriate gear for that speed, being able to stop if required. They then closely monitor the limit point as it moves around the corner. Use of the limit point in conjunction with information from any wider views should become the default way that you judge the severity of a bend. If you still carry too much speed into the bend, it's because you have not reacted to the information that the limit point was giving you and moderated your speed accordingly.